Hey everyone, Battlecrom here. We are back in Farming Simulator 22, back on the Maypole Farm. All right, let's head over to the farm here so we can see where we left off. All right, so before we get things started, we're gonna make a slight adjustment here to the time controls. On my last episode of Estancia, on the second half of the episode, I changed the time controls to 15 times on a two-day cycle uh, for a month and I felt like that worked pretty ideally for my YouTube episodes because if I get if I record for too long I end up with so much footage it's really hard to to butcher it down and, and to get it into a you know 35 to 40 minute episode so we need to speed things up just a tad bit more okay so we're gonna Cut the sheep field today. I remember us talking about that. Let's see, we're in October. I think November may be the last month we can cut. This is ready to harvest, but if we wait one more month, it'll probably be max. We may need to go through and plow this field after that too. That'll be that'll be in November. That'll be in this episode. Maybe may be able to get one more cut out of this field also tomorrow. Maybe it'll be an early growth cut. Still growing. I don't know if we will be able to or not. So on October, we do need to roll all the fields. I do know that. So, so we'll cut this. Uh, we'll do... I think I was talking about splitting it. Let's focus on the grass fields right now. Let's get as much yield out as ease as we can. Looks like we got a little bit of wool here, don't we? 21 liters it's not much but we got a little something there how are the eggs got a full pallet okay it seems to be going down yeah like about a thousand liters a day on the chickens let's look at the sheep sheep is holding strong at 57.5 is it Pulling from these bales, I wonder, as they sit here. Do the bale, are the bales shrinking in size? Do they shrink in size? I don't know. Mass, 460. Oh, they do. So I think what it's doing is just staying full because it's just pulling uh, hay from these bales. So they're not using very much right now. Makes me makes me think we could probably fit more sheep in there. We'll hold off on that for now because I want to set ourselves up for some cows here too. That's what we're going to try and do with all these fields. Alright, so before we waste any more time, let's get over here. Let's grab our mower and our tether and let's, uh, let's turn half that field into hay. I'm not going to need this weight right now. Let's drop that right there. Turn around here, didn't we? This is about the spot we need to be, though. Right about here. Let's unfold these guys. Lower that, lower that. Turn on the tether. Just cut straight across here.
turn half of it into hay. Let's get the other half mowed. And then, uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put that in a silage bunker or if we're going to wrap it. I mean, either way, we're going to have to buy equipment. So, if we wrap it, we're going to have to buy a wrapper. And if we put it in the bunker, then we're going to need a pickup wagon. Yes, I don't know which way I'm going to go with that. But one thing I know for sure is I'm not going to do anything with it until we get it mowed. So let's mow it and then we'll figure out what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to bale it and wrap it or put it in a bunker. So lower, lower down. Oh, okay. I'm lowering the weight. That's why it's not lowering. There we go. I knew that. <laughs> okay, we got it. Now we're moving. If we bale it, we may not be able to wrap the size bales right now we're using because we are using the maximum size bale. That's round bales, that's square. Well, that one goes to 240. It says it does. Isn't that what we're using right now is 240? Let's hook up our baler and see what we got it set at. I'm pretty sure we got it set at 240. In that case, we could wrap the giant bales we got. Let's find out. That wrapper was cheaper than the other one that did square bills too, I think. Uh, yeah, we're set at 240. Yeah, according to that, that bale wrapper can wrap it. So maybe we'll just wrap it. That might be... That's probably the cheaper route actually to go right now than to, to buy the equipment we'll need to uh, run it in the bunker over there. We'll use that bunker later on when we start running things like maize silage and stuff. Alright, see you in the morning. Okay. All right, well, let's bale this grass up, and then we'll we'll go to the store or the shop, and we will buy a bale wrapper. Let's unfold. build up that grass let's uh let's park the baler we're gonna be done with that until 
tomorrow. Okay, the bill wrapper we need this one. This one says it does 240 centimeters. That's the only other one that does square billers. It's more expensive and it doesn't even go to 240. Strange. I wonder why this one's cheaper. Uh, hopefully, this is a normal bill wrapper. I don't know. Let's try it out. Well, let's take it over there. See what happens. This could be a big mistake. Oh! Okay. Look before you pull out. There we go. Come on, battle crew. I wonder if this thing is like a... Well, either you attach it to the back... That thing's making noise, it's running. Enter vehicle. <laughs> what the heck? Full baler. So do I drive up to a bale here? Oh, when it's unfolded, it doesn't like to move. Right, let's try something here. We use our super strength here. What happens if we put this on here like this? Yeah. Oh, hold on. What just happened? It's not done yet. A little baler. There we go. Huh. It looks smaller, but it's the same. What the crap, man. It's like a standalone wrapper. Okay, I've never used this piece of equipment before, so you guys have to forgive me here. It's pretty cool, though. Let's see, can, there we go. It just automatically wants to go in sideways too, look at that. So I'm gonna enter it, unload. Let's see, let's fold it back up and then I can drive it, right? <laughs> this thing. All right, this is a little, oh, it's really slow though, isn't it? It's faster, I think, just to bring the bales to it. Oh, this thing is crawling. All right, we'll just, let's unfold it again. We'll just bring the bales to it. That'll be faster. Huh, how'd this guy end up on end? Get in there. <laughs> Get in there. Whoa, all right, there we go. What well, that thing's doing that, let's go grab another one. Well, I think I prefer one that I pull behind my tractor, but I guess this is okay for now. This is the only thing they got, they would wrap a 240. 
Uh, we'll have to check out some mods. I bet you there's some modded bale wrappers that you can haul behind you that'll wrap a 240. This can't be the only one. Yeah, we're using our super strength today. pretty quick I mean it might get a little bit more tedious if you didn't have super strength and you got to use your bale forks to load it all I think I'd rather just have something I pull behind my tractor but we're kind of stuck with this one right now we need to wrap these 240 bales so it is what it is all right let's go park this guy for right now at least we got them bales wrapped I was getting worried there for a second because if this thing didn't work, we were just going to have a bunch of grass bales. We weren't going to have any silage bales. Maybe just uh, park it like right there. Ooh, man. I cannot drive today. Alright, drive on the side there. I think I'd had a few cocktails or something here. I swear I wasn't drinking. Probably should have been. Drive this tractor a little better. Move that down. Right, we'll get the hay bales first. Eight of them. Did it turn out even? Did we get eight silage too? Four. We did. We got exactly. Hey, I, I did a good job splitting that field in half. Drop them right there. Alright. Let's gather up the silage. Bale not supported. What in the world? Why won't I support that? Man, these things are just turning into more trouble than they're worth. I tell ya. Let's cart them over here by hand, I guess. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of that wrapper. And get a regular one, and we'll just have to make our silage bill smaller. That, uh, that trailer there will pick up 240 cm bales, so... Why won't it pick these ones up? All right. Strange, strange. All right, well, let's make another trip up to the shop. Because there's another piece of equipment we're going to need. And I just want to go up there and get it today. While well, we still got some light left. And it's not too late. Hey. Watch out there, buddy. <laughs> okay, we got a little traffic jam here. We got this. Let's go through here. Come on. There we hey, watch out. Come through. Excuse me. Oh, back on my side of the road here. Oh. Drive. Looks like a lot more tractor than we need. Man, that thing's a monster. We're going to end up needing one of these. 
that's a cheap price man okay just because it's so cheap I think I'm gonna buy that yeah let's get this one night all right well let's pick this up in the morning okay it's now November all right so yep we're gonna cut field 24 here for sure and then we want to get some of these fields well we need to get all the fields actually rolled here this month we want to roll them yeah we want to roll them in November uh, we could actually get another, we could get one more cut off of the, the south field if you wanted to. I don't know, I think maybe we'll look at that time-wise. I don't know if we were going to cut it or just roll it. we got to do one or the other, though. Let's go grab our mower. See, we got to park our roller here. Let's just park the roller right here because I think we're going to end up using it on this field. Let's have a look at the used equipment market. There, that's what we need. We do need another tractor. Uh, let's see, let's get it. We want GPS on it. Ooh, I think I like the green. Wide tires plus weights. Man, this was a nice find here. Yep, let's buy this tractor. And let's see, we need bale wrappers. We need this one. We're just gonna have to make our bills in 220s. Let's buy that. Here we go. Ooh, man, this is a nice tractor right here. What's the repair state on it? it? It's a pretty good repair right now. I don't think it needs to be repaired right away. 50% off. Okay, we're going to drop this wrapper right here because we're going to need it. But while we're mowing over there, I think I'm going to get this guy to start rolling the field here. There we go. We'll let him take care of that. All right, let's get the mowing. Lower it. Turn it on. All right, let's do it.
Whew, it is a dark night with this rainstorm going. All right, so we got to mow. We got to cut on both fields. Uh, we also tatted the south field, so it's ready for hay. So in the morning, then we'll pick up and we'll uh, we'll bale both fields. We'll bale the hay, and then we'll bale the uh, grass field, and we'll wrap that for silage bales. All right, let's get some shed eye. Ooh, pretty dark. We're getting started early. Is there a car? There's a car waiting out here for us, huh? <laughs> a whole bunch of cars. Yeah, I'm not staking out that far, am I? All right. Let me get out of the way. There. These guys go by. And we got to unfold it so we can unhook it. Okay, I think we're going to use the new tractor to bail. Uh, uh, maybe we should take this over there. We'll hook up the uh, roller on here. We might have this tractor do some rolling while we're bailing. How's our animals doing? We should check on them. Uh, 378 liters of wool, not a whole lot yet. Looks like one of the bales is gone now. How are the chickens doing? Oh, the eggs are piling up pretty good. We might want to sell some of these either today or tomorrow. We're not going to be able to go too long without selling them. Probably going to sell them today. I don't know. Well, maybe first thing in the morning in the next episode. Well, here, hold on. All we got to do is just move them out of the way. So that way we don't have to worry about stuff filling up there. Whoop. <laughs> Might have broke a couple of them eggs there. I'm not sure. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. We'll sell them eggs in the morning. Let's get ourselves another hundred sheep, though. I think that's probably not a bad idea. There we go. They don't seem to be going through the hay really fast. And I know we're going to need some hay for the cows, too, but... I think we got plenty of hay, so yeah, that's good. All right, so let's grab, let's come over here. We'll switch out with the old tractor, and the new tractor, and we'll grab the roller. Did it get everything rolled right here? Looks like I think another spot got missed right there with the roller, huh? Get a little strip right here that didn't get rolled.
All right, so we got both fields bailed. We wrapped all the 220 bales, at least the ones I could find. The 240 bales are just going to have to wait uh, until tomorrow. But with the 220s wrapped, though, we're going to have those silage bales, and they'll be fermenting. And then, I mean, I guess our silage bales will be fermenting in stages, which is fine. That's probably a good thing. Uh, but, I mean, we're observing strict time controls here. And, well, it's winter time now, and the, and the days are getting shorter, so... And it's, it's getting really hard to see any of the bales on the field now. So I think we're just going to have to wrap up the episode here. And then we'll pick it up in December. We'll, we'll gather up the bales. We'll roll the fields. That one field, I don't know. I think I might just plow it because it does need plowing. I mean, it's winter. I got time to plow it and replant grass if I want. Um, I'm tempted to buy field 25. I may just do that. Buy field 25. We'll plow 24. I may sell 27 and buy 25, though. That just seems like a good idea. And then we'll plant our wheat in the spring over here in 25. It's a bigger field. It'll give us more wheat, which we're going to need for our chickens. And then we're going to need the straw for the cows. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. But we'll just play that by ear. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode.